Really nice and informative video. Thanks a lot. I'm starting my aquaponics system this spring and you answered to almost all the last questions I had, but still I have one left. Do you think the vast amount of biological surface will be an issue and my plants will not get enough nutrients to grow well? Or the bigger the biosurface is, the better it is. In other words, is it possible to oversize the growing surface? The school of aquaponics. It is practically impossible, impossible. You listening, Mo? Impossible to oversize a biological filter. Now let's go into the handy dandy bag of examples. Now, let's say we have a system that holds, let's say, 150 pounds of fish. And let's say we're going to feed the fish 150 grams of uh, a feed per day. And we'll assume, we'll just, th this is not the exact number, but I'll just give an, an example. We'll still assume that from that 150 um, grams of feed, the fish produce uh, 1.5 milliliters of ammonia. And from that 1.5 milliliters of ammonia, let's say for an example, this is a rough estimate again, we, we get 1.5 million uh, ammonia oxidizing bacteria that are going to live on the biological surface area. So this is all you can get. There's, it doesn't matter if you had a, a, a billion uh, square feet of biological surface area. Their growth is limited to the amount of input that you supply in the system or that is produced out of the system. So there's no way to oversize the uh, biological surface area. Now, if you wanted to add, let's say we wanted to go back up and add 300 grams of feed, and that converts to three milliliters of ammonia, and now the 1.5 million ammonia oxidizing bacteria can now double in size. Why? Because they have a source of energy. Now they're able to sustain themselves. Now, if we drop back down to 150 grams of feed, then half the colony is going to have to bite the dust. Half the colony has gone. So it's a, the, the relationship is there, the amount of ammonia to the amount of bacteria. You can only have as much um, uh, bacteria as you have ammonia that's able to sustain them. <laughs>